it's that time of year where overgrown zucchinis, also known as summer squash, abound. And one thing I look forward to every year is stuffing these healthy vine fruits with various combinations of filling concoctions, then baking them to produce delicious entrees. Today we are going to produce a meat lover's version stuffed with a ground beef mixture and topped with Parmesan cheese, and a vegan approved version stuffed with a green lentil and pot barley mixture then topped with a plant-based non-dairy cheese. Prep could not be easier. Give the zucchini a good washing in cold water, then chop the ends off, slice it down the middle, and then from here you can scrape out the pulp and seeds with a large spoon to carve out a cavity in each half. Cover it so that it does not dry out while baking, and then place it into the oven, preheated at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 to 35 minutes. So it's been in the oven at 400 degrees for 30 minutes. It's not quite cooked. It's just starting to get soft. The reason we are splitting up the cooking time this way is simply because the filling is already pre-cooked, so we want the final segment of oven time to coordinate both the finished cooking of the zucchini while melting and browning the cheese. See if I can do this so we can see it in the camera. For filling here, I am using what is essentially a basic pasta sauce where I have doubled up on the ground beef and added two level tablespoons of taco powder. Now we will top it with Parmesan cheese, and once we are finished doing a nice job of spreading the cheese completely over the filling, it's back into the oven for 15 minutes to melt the cheese and finish cooking the zucchini. Then we'll turn the broiler on for 5 minutes to brown the cheese. And here is the end result. By splitting up our cooking times this way and keeping a close eye on the broiler stage, we end up with perfect results. Depending on who you are feeding, you can cut each zucchini half into two, three, or four segments. Today we have three adults at the table, so we'll cut each half into three segments to make six portions. We'll add some garlic bread, because the filling is based on a pasta sauce after all, and we end up with this. So, let's do it again. This time we're going to do a vegan version. The plant-based filling I will be using also doubles as a filling for vegan shepherd's pie, so I'm going to make a batch large enough to stuff this zucchini in for a 10-inch square shepherd's pie. I've prepared one and a quarter cups of green lentils to the point of being soft but not mushy. I will be mixing this with one cup of pre-cooked pot barley. Prep in this case is easy enough. I'll saute these few garlic cloves with the onions in a large skillet, then fold in the lentils and pot barley, then mix in a flavorful sauce that I've prepared. After pouring the filling into the zucchini, it will then be topped with a plant-based cheese product, which in this case is a chickpea mozzarella by Dea. There's the onion and garlic sautéing. I'm just going to give that another 30 seconds or so, and then I'll pour the ingredients in. And then blend it all together with a sauce that I made. Let's talk about the sauce. And the only special items I have here are these three. You can get the hoisin sauce at any grocery store. You can get a good quality naturally brewed soy sauce at most grocery stores. The vegetarian mushroom sauce, you may have to go a little further afield. Uh, this is my oyster sauce replacement because we also have a fish allergy in the house. And this one here is your bargain basement great value honey garlic sauce from Walmart. Now the combination of these four sauces here can be the basis for a stir fry sauce or even a pasta sauce. Or as in this case, they are the basis for flavoring this batch of a vegan shepherd's pie filling I'll be using to stuff this overgrown zucchini and for a future vegan shepherd's pie I'm planning. The rest of the ingredients for this filling are common household spices including cornstarch to thicken the sauce. I folded in both the pre-cooked green lentils and pot barley, and now I'm mixing the final bit of the sauce I've prepared. You can see the thickening effect the cornstarch is having. And now it is ready. Now we put the second zucchini through the same cooking process, using some of the shepherd's pie filling, while topping it off with the plant-based cheese. It'll be interesting to see how this vegan cheese reacts to its time under the broiler. And here's our answer. It does not melt and brown quite the same as the dairy-based Parmesan cheese, but the results, and more importantly the flavor, are both pleasant surprises. As a matter of fact, this vegan version was just as much a hit with everyone as the meat lover's version was. Served up with a simple garden salad, it looked like this. 
Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing, and as always, we hope to see you next time. Stars won't shine for you, your dreams turn black and blue. On those dark nights you'll be alright, I'll be right there with you. Together we'll see it through. 